It's time for another bolo video. So I love doing bolo videos. Be on the lookout. I always put four in at the end. Be on the lookout for this or that. I love doing these videos because these are items that sell for me or I do research on to see who they're selling for, if they're selling, which ones are selling. <laughs> and all that jazz. So I want to get started. What I'm going to do is put up a picture showing you the brand before every brand that I get into. So let me just introduce myself. My name is Marion and I am the Smiley Thrifter and I've been reselling for about four years now. And I just love sharing information. I love giving tips and tricks. So if you are interested in watching videos like that, hit that subscribe at the end or now and ring that bell. And if you like this video, give it a like at the end. All right, let's just get started. So the first one I would like to talk about is Duluth. Duluth is a great, great brand to sell. What sells the best for me are the work pants for men. The, I, I don't think I've ever found any for women, but they do have women's clothing also. But men's mostly for me, the work pants, as you saw the picture at the beginning and you'll see it at the very end, sell the best. And you can make a good amount of money on them depending on what shape they're in. I have made upwards of $70 on a pair of Duluth pants, but the average, I'm going to say 40, 30, 40, but you can also sell these with some flaws, though I try not to sell anything with flaws anymore because even when you put it in the description, you still get screwed somehow. So Duluth is my first one. The second one is Tiva. Now, Tiva makes mostly walking, hiking, sandals, shoes. And what sells the best for me are the ones that you just saw, and you'll see again at the end. Tiva sandals, Tiva flip-flops. It could be either or, but the ones that are, oh, excuse that, the ones that are good to walk in, basically, you know, every, of course, all shoes are good to walk in, but the ones that are better for you to hike in, to walk in, those sell. And I have to say, they've gone down in what you will make off of them, but I'm going to say, unless they're a flip-flop that's old, I'll take $10, $15 for those. But the ones that are for hiking, and, and as it's seen in the picture, those you can get anywhere from $20 to $50, $60 sometimes for. So that is why I love those. Next. So next we have Patagonia. And that kind of jacket or... What else would you call it? It's, it's kind of like a sweatshirt, but with the zip that you just saw sells the best for me or a full zipper, but it has to say Patagonia on it in the front and it has to be in their logo, which you'll see at the end of the video. I'm going to put all the pictures up plus the logos. So that sells better for me in men's than women's, but I also can send Patagonia into the real wheel and make a good amount of money on it if I don't feel like taking all the pictures and everything else. The next thing we have is Lisa Bain. Now I hadn't heard of her before about a month ago of that brand, but it sells immediately if you price it right, of course. So Lisa Bain, I sold a couple of shirt dresses. So they're dresses that I'm sure I put up before this that are just 
long they are. No, I can't use that word for it. They're long. They're kind of boxy. They're not really fitted. Some are, but the ones that I sell best are long, like men's t-shirt type look. And they're all different types of designs, and they're beautiful. And those can sell for anywhere from, oh, I don't even... It, it's such a wide range. It's like $30 to $100. So sometimes more. So be on the lookout. The next one to be on the lookout for, and I believe this one was my la on my last one, was the things not to look for, but it changed. Is J. Crew. I really believe that was on my not to look for. I really, really do. But all of a sudden, anything that I had plaid that was J. Crew is selling and selling quickly. And I'm not going to say for high amounts. It's probably selling for in between $17 and $30. It just depends on what it is. Ready for the next one? Torrid. Torrid is still selling great for me. It is plus sizes. Well, they go from size 10 to 30, but it they really specialize in plus sizes. But all of the clothes that I have sold are beautiful and dainty looking for plus size. I feel like Torrid can really bring out your character and express who you are because they are beautiful and plus size and fashionable and trendy. In the winter, Torrid button down sweaters sell for me mostly, but also tops. And in the spring, summer, tops and dresses sell very well for me. And check them out if you haven't. Really beautiful. I'll put some more things at the end. The next, next one is. K-U-I-U. -I, I don't even want to try to pronounce that, so I'm just going to say K-U-I-U. So they mostly, if not only, have outdoors, workmen kind of things, but also outdoorsy type of things. But you can get somewhere from $35 to $100, even more if you find things that are worth more. So really, really good if you can find them. It's not always easy and you may not always spot them. So take a look at the pictures so you can see what to look for. So comment down below if you sell any of these or if you've been looking for them, if you've heard of them, if you haven't, or what are your good bolos? Because I have a lot more. So I'm going to do another video soon. But Next. Next is Ann Taylor. But I think she might have been on my not sell last time. But all of a sudden her blazers are selling for me and shorter cropped ones and longer ones. So Ann Taylor blazers, I'm getting anywhere from 20 to $45 for those right now. So I'm always trying for anything over 15. That doesn't mean everything I sell is over 15 because I have things in my closet for so long and those I reduce prices. But anything that I buy now and for the future, I do my best to make more than $15 on. So the next is... Disney Parks merchandise. You can only buy it at the parks. So there are certain things that if you find, I think it's limited edition, special edition, like an annual type thing, you can get more money for these things. Now, clothing is what I'm basically talking about today, but I also sell the pins. I sell pajamas, so that's part of clothing. But you can 
basically make money on anything Disney park, if you price it right. But with that, it all depends on what it is. You can make anywhere from $10 to 100 or more, depending on what you have. Is it being seeked out? If it is, then you can make more money. The next one, tell me if you've heard of this one, is Double D Ranch. Double D Ranch is so cool. It's trendy. It's funky. It's Western rodeo cowgirl. So I really, really like this. You'll see it at the beginning and more at the end. So you can take a look and see what's selling. For me, anything that I've sold sells quickly and and for a good price. I'm going to say anywhere, and it really depends, from 30 again, to about 70 or 80 I've sold it for. I'm, you probably can make more. Depends on what you buy. Ready for the next one? I am. The next one's Ben Sherman. Men's button-down or button-up shirts really seem to sell every time I put them in my closet. And I'm going to say, depending on which one, how old, how young, what's wrong with it, what's not, you can get anywhere from 25, well, you can get more, but I've gotten anywhere from 25 to $55 for these shirts. Of course, like with anything, look up everything in the store. Look up the comps. If you can't return wherever you buy it from, most thrift stores you can't. So look it up, check the comps, comps of comparisons, see what they're selling for on whichever platform you sell on. But usually if you check on Poshmark or eBay what the solds are, you'll be able to tell better. I think people say eBay is a little bit better. So I always just get on and check and see what comes up and how much the sold items went for. You can't always tell when they're in bundles. You don't always get a true price. Anyway, the next one is Additions by Chico. So still a Chico brand, but Additions by Chico sells better than Chico for me right now. Let me put Chico's, why am I just saying Chico? Chico's, let's put that in as bones too. Chico's sells good for me for a plus brand also, but addition sells better. So you'll see the pictures before and after. Seems more tops sell better for me, but again, that's no way of thinking about it because bottoms may sell great for you. Just look up the comps. Next, anthropology. Now I haven't found much of it in my area, but I've been hearing how it's been, you know, for the last year, anthropology, anthropology, it seems to be the one of the best selling items when it comes to clothing. Maybe they do have ho houseware too. So some of those things I've sold also, but not for a lot, but any anthropology dress I found, and let me know if you want me to do a breakdown of anthropology sub brands, I guess I'm going to call them because there are so many and I was going to do that, but I wasn't sure if people are still interested, but anthropology brands sell fantastic and they're all trendy. Really whatever is in trend anthropology is selling. If it is something that is trendy, it's going to most likely sell. Now, nothing's ever a hundred percent, but I'm just telling you what, what happens for me. So that is it for today. So I hope you enjoyed my bolo list. I will have quite a few other videos with bolos because I have so many written down that I'm just doing a little at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed, I don't get overwhelmed, and you have a goal of things to look up in the store this week. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, whatever, and also hit that subscribe, ring that bell for a lot more bolo lists coming up. 
I appreciate you as always. Have a great day. And if you're a reseller and you want to be interviewed on this show, let me know. I'd be happy to interview whether you have 10 subscribers or 100,000. It doesn't make a difference. It'll just help our community along the way to just keep getting better and better because I learned from YouTube videos and interviews and all that fun stuff. So I want to help you do the same. Have a great day. See you soon.